Hey guys, welcome back to Bali Piano. Here's part two of Gora Gora Rang. And it goes like this. All right, so let's break it down. In the right hand, we have, starting with our fifth finger, we're gonna place it on A, and we have one and two E and a three E and a four and one and two E and a three and four E and a. Okay, once without the counts. Next we have one and two E and a three and four and one, two E and a three and four E and a. Again, once without the counts. All right, I'll just play these four bars once again without the counts. Here we go. All right, and once again, the left hand is exactly the same. We have the the following chord progression: D minor, A minor, G minor, back to A minor. So putting it together, it will sound like this, very slowly. Okay, moving on, in the right hand we have one and a two and a three E and a four and a. Next up we have one E and a two and a three E and a four and. So putting it together, it sounds like this. And again, left hand exactly the same. D minor, A minor, G minor, back to A minor. So putting it together. All right, and then we go back into what we've already learned. which has already been covered in part one. So if you need a bit of a breakdown for that, you can go back to part one. And we then go back into the chorus. Which also can be found in part one. Okay, so now we'll move on and look at the instrumental that occurs in the middle of the song, which goes like this. All right, so let's break it down. In the right hand, we have, again, starting with our pinky finger on A. One, two, three, four, E, and a one, two, three, 
four and a. One more time with other counts. And um, it's best to actually play this with the following finger technique, which is one, two, and then swap and play the E with your first finger again because of the following bar, which goes like this. Okay, so once again. Okay, then we have one, two, three, four E and a one, two, three. So again over here, third finger on A, three, then five, back to three. So you can play this easily with two, one, two, three, and back to two. I'll play these three bars without stopping. Here we go. Okay. And uh, putting the left hand together, it will sound like this, slowly. Moving on on the right hand, we have one, two, three, four E and a. Then we have one E and a, two E and three and four and one and two and three and four and one E and a, two E and three and four and one and two, three, four. Let's do that one more time with the counts. So we have four E and a. One E and a two E and three and four and one and two and three and four and one E and a two E and three and four and one and two three four. Once without the counts, here we go. Okay, this is slightly difficult with the counting. It's kind of odd in the right hand. You should be able to get a sense of the timing once you've practiced it a bit with the counts. Okay, and then we have in the left hand as usual. So we'll just try putting, we'll just try putting the right and left hand together. Here we go. Okay, and then the song actually goes back into the riff that we've already learned in part one. And then it also goes back into the verse that we learned at the very start of part two, which goes like this. Okay, so before we look at the very last part of the song, what happens is the song goes back into uh, another verse, which is very similar to what we learned at the very start of part two. So I'll just play it once. Alright, so notice how in the last two bars there was a difference in the chord. So instead of playing the usual D minor, E minor, I actually played B flat and held it throughout the chord. And then in the last one I played C. So watch that one more time. We have.
before we go back into the chorus. All right. That's the only thing you need to be aware of the second time you play the verse. And uh, now we're ready to learn the outro of the song. And that goes like this. Okay, so the right hand goes like this, starting with our fourth finger on D, we have 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, it's a bit slower, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, and then we have 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So putting these two bars together without the counts, here we go. And we just repeat that one more time. So here we go again. And then moving on, we have 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. All right, so once without the counts, here we go. Then we play it one more time. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. But this time we go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So this will take a bit of practice uh, to get right in the right hand. But um, the good thing is that it's repetitive. So. Once you get the hang of it, it should be fine. Here we go. So, same chord progression in the left hand. I'll play the outro from start to finish slowly. Here we go. All right, now we're ready to play the entire arrangement from start to finish in part three. So see you guys very soon.